Good morning. Today is April 11, 2020. My name is Lilia, and today's options lesson is on the probability of expiring cone, which is this thing that is on my chart. I am using Thinkorswim as my trading platform. What we have here is the one year daily chart for SPY, SPY which is the ETF that tracks the S&P 500 index. If you don't already have the cone on your chart, let me just show you how to put it on there. Go to Studies, click on Edit Studies, and on the left-hand side, look for Probability of Expiring Cone, and you select it. Click on Add Selected then click on apply and OK. If you did it correctly, you should see it here on the right hand side as well. And then of course, you should see it on your main chart. So the whole purpose of this cone is to show you what ranges of strike prices to use when you're trading options. Since most of my options trades are selling options, then I look at this cone and I can see very quickly which options straight prices to choose for a particular expiration date. SPY, of course, has expirations three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But on this cone, you're going to see numbers that correspond only to the standard monthly options, which is the third Friday of each month. So now let me show you how to use this cone. Let's suppose that today I wanted to figure out which put option to sell for the May 15 expiration cycle. Today is April 11, so normally when I sell options, I go out 30 or 45 days. And that's how I choose my options. 45 days till expiration, maximum, minimum 30 days. So I would start out by looking at these two numbers on the cone. If I was selling a put option, I would look at this number 241.91 and I would select put options that have a strike price outside of this cone number. So that means when I go back to the trading tab, and I'm looking at the options chain, I'm going to select options, put options, that have a strike price below 241.91. If I was selling call options, I would go outside of this number, 314, and I would go in this direction. I would select call options with a strike price higher than 314. So remember those numbers for me. 241 and 314. So now let's jump over to the trading tab. So here we have the options chain for SPY for the May 15, 2020 expiration cycle. These options will expire in 34 days. And the number that I was looking at on the probability cone was 241. And I mentioned that if I was selling a put option, I would select strike prices that were below 241. So I am basically going further out of the money. Today's Saturday, so the markets are closed. But on Thursday, when the markets were open, SPY closed at 278.2. So all the options going in this direction are further out of the money, which means that the strike prices are much lower than the current price of the ETF. The number on the probability cone was 241. So if I come over here in this column, I can see that this option has about a 19% chance of expiring in the money. So just to make the math easier, let's just pretend this is 20. That means there's an 80% chance that this option will expire out of the money. So usually when I'm selling put options, 
I like to select options that have about an 80% chance of not getting assigned. In some cases, I am 100% sure that I would like to get assigned on a stock. Because this is SPY and it is a very expensive product, I would rather not get assigned if I was selling this put. But if I did get assigned, I would be okay with it. So when I'm trading options that have a high straight price, I prefer to sell options that are further out of the money, which means that I always look at this number, probability ITM. That's a probability that I'm going to get assigned 100 shares of SPY at the straight price of 241. And according to the statistics, there's only a 20% chance of that happening. So I'm totally okay with this option. This option meets all of my criteria. It has a nice premium and it is between 30 and 45 days until expiration. Of course, if you want it to lessen the chances of getting assigned, you would certainly go further out of the money and select options that have a much lower probability ITM. So for example, if you wanted to do this option with a straight price of $207, this option only has a 6% chance of assignment and you still get to receive $102. 207 is $71 below today's current price of SPY. According to the statistics, there's only a 6% chance that SPY could go back down to 207 in 34 days. So this is, of course, acceptable risk. So let's take a look at the cone and see where 207 lands. 207 is right around here. So it is just a little below the recent low of 218. So if you wanted to sell this put with a straight price of 207, that is certainly acceptable risk. And now on the call side, if you were selling call options, you would of course want to sell call options that are out of the money. That means you're gonna select call options with straight prices that are higher than the number that you see on this cone, 314. Let's jump over now to the trading tab. Notice here that the call option with a 314 strike price has a probability ITM of almost 6%. So that means there is a 94% chance that it will not go up that high in the next 34 days. So what's interesting is that 314 is about $36 higher than the current price of SPY. And according to the statistics, there's only about a 6% chance that SPY can go back up there in the next 34 days. On the other hand, 241, which is the number on the bottom of the cone, is also $37 away from today's price. But according to these statistics, there's a 19% chance that SPY can go back down there. So even though these prices are equidistant from the current price of SPY, the statistics are telling us that there is a much higher chance that SPY can hit the lower number as opposed to the higher number. So that kind of tells us that the markets believe that in the near term, there is a much higher probability that SPY can go back down. So that's how we use this cone. We look at the numbers on the cones, on the put side and the call side, and then we jump over to the trade tab and compare the probabilities that those particular options are going to end up in the money. Under normal circumstances, we would expect the probabilities on the put side and the call side to be about the same. But right now, 
due to the increased volatility, the markets are expecting SPY to go back down in the future. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my loyal Patreon supporters for making this video possible. Thank you for watching, and remember to share the knowledge and spread the wealth.